what an electric night, and this city deserves it because every single person I spoke to tonight, and this is true, has some sort of connection to this amazing building. How well do you know this train station? I know it with my eyes closed from the front door to the back. 77 year old Detroit resident John Franklin was just a young boy in the 1950s, running around the inside of the train station when it was active, grabbing food at the local joints. Hamburgers was 12 cents. Not 12 cents anymore, are they? Today, he and other Detroiters with connections to the train station. Businessmen would come into this train station and my grandmother would iron their clothes to make a living. I used to come here as a kid. We used to play out in the park, wait for my dad to get off work and we'd have a little picnic on the grounds there. Are all in awe of its rebirth. Just hey, keep on pumping up this city. The ticket to the big concert, the hottest ticket in town tonight, celebrating the reopening with plenty of stars, presenters, athletes, and the one and only Diana Ross sparkling as she kicked off the show. Then Detroit's very own Big Sean speaking on how much this means to the city and to him. There's no greater city than Detroit. The quality of the quality of people from Detroit is something special. The entire show produced by the one and only Eminem. The crowd loving every minute of it. Shout out to Southwest Detroit. <laughs> So what was once a neglected building, now a prized and celebrated one by all. Jim Farley, proud of how far this city has come. Well, anyone who doubted from the national media who took pictures of this place and said, Detroit, you know, what a sad story, you're all wrong. And you can still feel the electricity. This city is excited. And don't worry, if you missed the show, the tours begin tomorrow at noon, and the tours will continue throughout the summer on weekends. In Detroit, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 News Detroit.